What's the difference between a master's thesis and a PhD thesis? Find out today on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy and personal academic mentor, Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, coming at you to be able to talk about what's the big difference between a master's thesis and a PhD thesis. Sometimes in the US, Canada, or other countries, we call this a, a doctoral dissertation. And of course, it's not just a PhD. It could be an EDD or a PsyD or a DSW or any other kind of doctorate. What are we talking about here, right? That's what we're going to be discussing today. Now, if you're considering pursuing a higher degree, this video is gonna help you understand the key difference between the two and help you to be able to make an informed decision, okay? So first, let's define what a thesis is. So a thesis is a written document that summarizes the research work you've done during your graduate program. It's usually required for students who are pursuing a master's degree or a doctorate, and thesis projects, trust me on this one, they can vary like substantially in scope, in depth, in subject matter, but they do all have one common goal, and that is to demonstrate that the student, i.e. you, has a comprehensive understanding of their field and can independently conduct original research, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna compare the differences, the big ones, between master's theses and PhD theses, okay? So first up, first difference is the length and the depth of the research itself, okay? A master's thesis is typically shorter and less comprehensive than a doctoral thesis. It typically ranges anywhere between 50 to 100 pages, double space. Totally varies though, depending on the institution that you're at. And it's focused on a specific topic within a particular field. On the other hand, doctoral thesis is usually much longer, usually over 200 pages. Mine was over 200 pages. And it's usually more in depth. It covers a broader range of topics. The lit review ends up being more in depth. The, uh, the implications of the findings are significantly more. And it incorporates significantly more, or at least more in depth, original research at the end of the day. My doctoral dissertation from Oxford, remember I've got the two doctorates. The first one from Oxford ended up being a small series of studies that all kind of were on the exact same theme. And usually this is kind of what I end up seeing or one really massive project that was very, very detailed, very, very in-depth, very difficult to be able to do and shows your ability to do independent research. That's the name of the game, okay? Now, the second difference is the scope of the research itself. So master's thesis is usually focused again on a particular area of study like business or engineering or psychology. And it's intended to demonstrate a student's master's of the field, but the doctoral thesis, on the other hand, is really focused on advancing the knowledge in the field, so like the literature base itself, right? And making a significant contribution to the body of knowledge. I've always said on this channel, and I'll say it again right now, it doesn't mean that by the end of this thing, you are the master of your own domain, an expert in absolutely everything, but it does certainly mean that you know enough about the field and know about the gaps in the field and know enough methodologically, which means yes, research methods, but also statistical analytic techniques to be able to make a significant contribution to that field, okay? Now this could involve though developing a new theory, an entirely new methodology. My doctoral dissertation, my first one, had a lot to do with developing new statistics when it comes to predictive validity as they call it. Could also just solve a significant research problem in your field right now. Okay, that's number two. Third difference is the level of independence. Master's thesis is usually completed under much more detailed supervision of a faculty advisor who's providing guidance and support throughout the process. And you know, the students expected to work independently and demonstrate their ability to conduct research and write a comprehensive report. Don't get me wrong, but the doctoral thesis is something where I want you to think about it being a teenager. Like when I was a teen, I really want to kind of like individuate myself from my parents. This is the same sort of a concept. You're trying to show that you can be a researcher on your own accord. So because of that, in a doctoral thesis, the students usually expected to work independently and take the lead on the research project much more. And they're expected to take a more active role in defining everything, the research questions, selecting the methods, analyzing the results, writing things up for publication, selecting the journal, actually getting the thing published, handling the peer review, you name it, disseminating the findings. Okay, that's number three. Fourth difference is the level of originality. So a master's thesis is typically focused on demonstrating, you know, your, your foundational mastery of the field. It's usually based on existing literature. Whereas doctoral thesis, on the other hand, is expected to be original, contribute to the advancement of the knowledge in the field. And that means that the doctoral student is expected to conduct original research, analyze the data, come to their own conclusions, like I've mentioned. So the final difference is the level of anticipated impact that this work is going to have. 
So a master's thesis is important for the student because it demonstrates their mastery of the field and it's a requirement for graduation, but it's a limited impact on the field as a whole. The overwhelming preponderance of master's theses don't result in one publication. It ends up being what we call the file drawer dilemma. The stuff gets done, ends up in a file drawer somewhere, ends up on ProQuest, as we call it. If you know, you know, all right? Versus a doctoral dissertation, on the other hand, this is the potential to make, con uh, comparatively speaking, a more significant contribution to the field, and it can impact the direction of future research in the field as a whole, all right? So in conclusion, main differences in the master's thesis and the doctoral dissertation, the length, the depth, the scope, level of independence, level of originality, and the impact of the research, okay? Now, understanding these differences is going to help you make an informed decision about which of those two types of degrees you want to pursue and what type of research project to undertake. And whether you choose a master's thesis or a doctoral you know, dissertation, just remember that the goal of both is to demonstrate your mastery of the field and your ability to conduct independent research at the end of the day. So, all right, navigators, that's what I've got for you guys today. I love you to death. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends, colleagues, and students. I wish you the best. Make sure, as always, to check out publicationacademy.com for all of my formal courses on how you can get into graduate school, as well as research methods, stats, and literally hundreds of hours of additional training about everything else. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.